The purpose of this video is to give you a quick overview of how to navigate the LexisNexis research system. There will be supplemental videos that focus on how to search for cases, statutes, and other legal materials. The default home page, or tab as they are called in LexisNexis, is the search tab. In addition to the search tab, there are three other major tabs on LexisNexis. Those tabs are Get a Document, Shepherds, and more. The majority of your research in LexisNexis will take place in the Search tab. With that said, let's have a quick look at the three other main tabs before we take an in-depth tour of the Search tab. You can access the contents of a tab by either clicking on the tab or by clicking on the arrow located on the tab. The Get a Document tab allows users to search for legal materials by citation, party name, and by docket number. Users can also use the Citation Formats function if they are unsure of how to construct a particular citation. Shepherds allows users to pull a Shepherds report for legal materials to determine if they are still good law. You will learn more about Shepherds in another video. The More tab includes some other useful tools and databases on LexisNexis that you may use later on in law school or in practice. One important aspect of this tab to point out is the link for the law school's homepage. Let's now return to the Search tab. The Search tab is further divided into subtabs, with the Legal subtab being the default subtab. The Legal Subtab groups and organizes all of the resources available on LexisNexis. The boxes located on the right side of the page provide you with tools to quickly access resources. The ones you should be most familiar with for legal bibliography are Recently Used Sources, Quick Tools, and Search by Topic or Headnote. If you would like to search a database or multiple databases, you can select each database and then click on Search Selected. You would then have the option to search by terms and connectors or natural language. You may also have the option, depending on what type of resource you're looking at, to search by document segment or by date. In cases where you have a statute, a regulation, or a secondary source, you might also have the option to browse the table of contents. You will learn more in depth about all of these functions in legal bibliography. If at any time while you're working in the Lexis research system you would like to return to the home screen, click on Lexis at the top of the screen. Instead of searching, you also have the option to browse for resources in LexisNexis by clicking on a main resource heading and then further drilling down until you get to your desired resource. For instance, if I want to find North Carolina cases, I can click on States Legal, North Carolina, Find Cases, and then I can select which database I want to search by clicking on the database name or selecting the database and clicking on Search Selected. You may also be able to access some resources directly by clicking on them on the home page. For instance, the Code of Federal Regulations is a resource you can access without having to first click on Federal Legal. You may have noticed that each database we have accessed so far has a little eye out beside of it. If you click on the eye, you will get information about the database, including coverage and content. It is good practice to determine first if your database will even have what you are looking for before you start searching that database. Two other subtabs that we will explore is the All subtab and the Find a Source subtab. The All subtab allows users to browse all of the content on Lexis. The Find a Source subtab allows users to search for a resource, in this case, Georgia State University Law Review, or browse for the resource alphabetically.
You can access additional functions related to search by clicking on the arrow beside search. One function to note is the search by topic or headnote. You will learn more in depth about this function in another video. So far the majority of our focus has been on subtabs located within the search tab. You have the option to add additional subtabs under search which is highly recommended if the majority of your research focuses on a particular area of law or jurisdiction. To add a subtab, simply click on Add Edit Subtabs at the top of the screen. Select your choices, in this case we'll click Criminal Law and Georgia. Click Next and then adjust the order in which you would like those tabs to appear. Since we're practicing in Georgia, I want to have move that all the way to the top. And then I also want to set Georgia as my default tab. Now when we log into LexisNexis, the Georgia subtab will be our home page. The last two functions we will look at is history and live support. History is located at the top of the screen. History allows users to look at their search activity for the past 24 hours and for the past month. Live support is also located at the top of the screen. Live support allows users to chat with a research professional if they are having trouble finding a resource. That is it for your introduction to the LexisNexis research system.